I'm John Erickson in Oconto Falls, and behind me is the new middle school that's being built in the district. And I don't know about you, there wasn't a fitness center in middle school when I was in school, but one is planned for this school, and the superintendent says that might save some families a drive to Green Bay they're making back and forth right now. I think it's excellent. Absolutely. Tamara Kardoski has two grandchildren in Oconto Falls schools who will be able to use the fitness center that's going in the new middle school. I caught up with her at a local cafe and I asked her what she thought of having one included in the project. A lot of parents, they just don't have the time or the money or whatever. This way it's available to them and I think it's a great thing. Kids need to get more fit. This is the high school fitness center, and Superintendent Dean Hess says there was a question of whether one would be included in the new middle school. That's because of the cost. Even with our planning, inflation was uh, changing so significantly, we weren't sure if things were going to be within budget or not. But then the bids came in under budget, even with the fitness center. So it's part of the project. One of the goals for it is trying to teach lifelong skills in staying healthy. We look at not just getting kids um, up and moving today, we look at trying to have them involved in activities that they'll be involved in hopefully throughout their life. It'll be used for gym class and for students who are in activities like sports. These are a lot of things that are already happening for some students, but right now they travel to Green Bay to be involved in that. It can also be a workout room for staff. When you look at wellness, um, stress. The superintendent also talked with us inside the high school performing arts center. He said community support made this happen and is making the $34 million middle school project possible too. Across Oconto County and other school districts, we could not find another standalone middle school with a fitness center. And as work continues, the superintendent says that come fall of 2025, students will be able to start going to school here. In Oconto Falls, John Erickson, NBC 26.